Welcome to The Bracket, episode 83. Today, we are debating, almost dropped Red Bull. We are debating the biggest childhood inconveniences, an idea signed off by the winner of last week, Clemmer, who's holding his victory trophy. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. To give you some- that was 100% of The Bracket's budget. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the allotted barstool budget I towards paid- The Bracket. Well, that depends if they actually reimbursed me for it. It wasn't my own. Did dime. you Did you put it into the reimbursement? No. The, uh, so I bought it on on Amazon, and I thought it was one big trophy, and it was like eight bucks. I'm like, that sounds about right for a trophy or whatever. And it was actually a pack of fifty trophies, <laughs> so I have fifty of these. So we'll hand out a new one each week. Oh, oh, oh that's nice. motivation. Yeah. You yeah. One day eight. you guys can achieve this. Exactly. You thought eight dollars was an appropriate amount for a big trophy? For like a trophy like this big? Like I that's thought it was insanity. Like this big? Oh, I think at least made forty-five to fifty. I knew it said like yeah, made out of like cheap plastic, whatever, whatever. And the reviews are like yeah, they're small, they're breakable. <laughs> This would be the fanciest diva cup I could possibly. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seriously. Did I, I say you can touch that, Kate? No. Oh, whoa. whoa. Starting out for early. He is. Oh, Kate, you've never experienced bracket clamor. No. He's a uh, dickhead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he bullied Francis yeah. off of this episode. Yeah. He didn't want to show up. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <last no>. <laughs> uh, okay, so today, before we get into it, let's talk about body armor. All right, let's talk about body armor. Lights, camera, barstool, hydrates with body armor and rides with team body armor. They're the official hydration partner of Lights, camera, barstool. We've been drinking body armor since the beginning because they have the best products, the best flavors, the best ingredients, the best athlete partners, no artificial stuff, no fake ingredients, real hydration with electrolytes, potassium, vitamins, etc. And there's body armor, sports drinks, all in sport water, as I'm sure you're going to see, all over the office. We stock the fridge with it, and it's empty maybe within an hour, maybe less. We fly through it. If you haven't tried it, you're living under a rock. You need to get on the body warmer wave. We have some of the best there. We, as I'm the one working for body armor for Barcelona, but they have some of the best athletes in the world, and they drink it all through their competitions. We're talking Trey Young, Christian McCaffrey, Alex Morgan, Donovan Mitchell, Ronald Acuna, so many more. Uh, the, the, my favorite flavor right now. They have this blueberry one that I think I go through every single time. If you have like a tungsten meeting or if you have anything that involves uh, some heavy drinking overnight, come back in the office the next day early, drink body armor, feel better right away. We stay drinking this in the office, at the gym, at the golf course when we're hungover. All body armor, all the time. Go and buy body armor right now on Amazon. All right, thanks to body armor. First matchup of the day, number five seed. And just by the way, I'm going to clarify the rules again uh, from last time because this is relatively fresh. All of your submissions are going to stay anonymous. Unless they lose them, we'll out them or whatever. And the whoever wins at the end of this episode, you are the winner of this week of the bracket. You will be on the next week and you get to suggest the topic. Do all of us have a submission, submission in yes. the bracket? Yes. Everyone has a submission. Wow. All right. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Everyone has at least one. So you have a chance. And Even Mook? Oh, yeah. Mook's in. Oh, He's got yeah. some. Oh. And we have, uh, we have two because there are so many options, great options. Uh, everyone had a good list. There's going to be two playing games. So you have even more of a chance mm-hmm. to get in. Um, okay, Bracket so- purists are going to be pissed about this change. <laughs> Rat's ass. Uh, the very first matchup of the day, number five seed versus the 12. The five seed is getting a shitty seating arrangement for a, or a bad lunch period in school. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, good God. call. Good call. Yeah. Getting a bad lunch period. Uh, specifically, bad lunch period was the worst. I got stuck with that my freshman year. It's like one person I knew, all seniors and juniors. It's real bad. Uh, and that's going to be its number 12 seed. Uh, having to run errands with your parents. Like you can't be when you're at the age where you can't stay home alone, so you have to go with them out to other places. So we'll start with you, Che. Which one of these is a worse minor childhood inconvenience to you? They're both pretty bad because you can't. You don't have control over either. Like you get assigned what you're assigned for lunch periods, and then yeah, if you're too young to go out, uh, there are some annoying stores to go to for sure. Home Depot, Costco. Uh, I kind of like Costco. Um, Probably the lunch period, just because if you're not with your friends, you're screwed. You're on an island, uh, so I'll go lunch period. Lunch period? Eight. I got to go running errands, especially if your parents are shopping for like appliances or a big purchase and they're agonizing, like especially back in the day before the internet and they'd have the coupon books and be agonizing over. Uh, and then I remember like, Instead of going somewhere fun like Six Flags or something, the Phil I remember getting dragged to like the Philadelphia Home Show. Oh, it was yeah. like an appliance <laughs> convention, shows. like sh- nice. shit like that all the time. And just like I remember mentally being like, I'm gonna be the worst human they've ever encountered today, like stealing myself to suck to make them suffer. Is that psychopath? No, I don't no? think so. Okay, but yeah, so that's the one I'm Actually going with. Like, 
like sticks I used to hate out. The beach, and when I was a kid, once they brought me there, and I just stayed in the car the entire time they were there. Where? I was so stubborn. They went to the beach, and I just stayed in the car like an abused dog or something. Oh. I stayed in the car the entire time they were there, like three hours. Oh, you're a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, How old were you? It's probably like 11, 12 or something like that. Were the windows down? Go to the beach. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going. I'm, you guys can drag me there. I ain't getting out of the what car. Are you do, what did you do in the car? Game Boy? Died, I guess. Like, <laughs> I just died, probably. <laughs> Slowly roasted. Uh, Clemmer. Yeah, if, so I went to a smaller school, so we didn't have too many lunch periods. It wasn't until high school that we encountered that. And even then, it was you, you always had friends there because there were only so many options. But I got dragged to so many like craft stores, like Michael's or all. Like, I remember my mom also went through this like phase where she liked forests, like she liked to plant uh, in flowers and shit so i got dragged to all these greenhouses uh, it was just awful it was so many so many places i never wanted to go mm -hmm. so running errands for you yeah. you said a bunch of nothing there <laughs> you, know, you're, you, you got a bunch of you lunch periods you not want to kick this hornet oh no, i you do because i've been fighting with them all the day wrath. today you don't want the wrath <laughs> You're sitting in the seat, Francis. <laughs> you know what? Crucified. Sorry, Mr. Clemmer. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, keep going. <laughs> the Apology not accepted. <laughs> the second major crucifixion that he's witnessed. Yeah. Live. <laughs> <laughs> he was the soldier that stabbed with the he's spear and the water <laughs> came out. Yeah. Uh, so I only write INRI on the sign. <laughs> I'm working on my Clemmer impression. Yeah, this is good. That was kind of good. <laughs> We've been hanging out way too much. <laughs> that was really good. I realized, like, I think it was last week. I was like, I've, I've outside of work, I had three days in a row of Clemmer, and I was having the time of my life. Yeah, <laughs> I needed a break. That's I got a great hang. exhausted. Great yeah. hang. He's a great hang. Um, I hated Lowe's as a kid, or like Home Depot. Yeah, because there was a glimmer of hope, like there would be something to play with. Yeah, Lowe's. Right. Uh, there was like maybe the big carts that you could push around, but then you got yeah. Started. There, um, but I hated it. I remember going to Lowe's like fucking. It felt like every day. Um, with that being said, uh, kind of in the same vein, I went to a smaller school where they there were two different classes. Like if you're in seventh grade, there's two seventh grade teachers, and then if you got split from your friends there, uh, you just you you couldn't be friends anymore. I remember my seventh grade year. I lost Ryan Nauman, Nathan McFadden, and Brandon Wilson. I'd fucking be friends three. with Jordan West. So, that sounds like an up. Uh, no, no offense to the other three, but that sounds like an upgrade. Well, the, my, I lost my crew, so I had to go to Jordan West. Gotcha. So you went to Lowe's every day, and you weren't a five foot six brunette in the Jersey Shore. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, got there. Oh, got there. damn good. That was damn good. Um, I'm going uh, lunch periods. Lunch periods. Yeah. Uh, two to two right now. I didn't have a big crew. There was usually a consolation prize with the errands, whether it was a candy bar in the checkout aisle or maybe uh, McDonald's on the way home. But if you get, if you didn't get to sit next to your boys at the lunch table or in class, that was such a semester ruiner almost. Yeah, I w <laughs> you didn't. Right. The emphasis. Good delivery. The emphasis good delivery. Happened, you weren't <laughs> done speaking. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going with the the seating arrangements. You're right with like the trinkets, even the home shows that Kate brought up. If I had a yardstick, I was pretty happy. It was still fine. This is pre phones when you can get entertained pretty easily. Oh, I take all the swatches. Swatches. Yeah. I loved going through paint yeah. swatches. I was yeah. swatches good. My dad would drag me to like uh like auto shop places, like the oh. uh, the parts store. I would just like hang out by the air freshener. Oh, with the, with your dad, it was always fine. Mm -hmm. But he's still like looking air fresheners. I'm like, this sucks. Yeah, boring this dad. is not what I want to be doing with my life. Air fresheners are awesome. I love air fresheners. I know, but they're fun for the first like five minutes, but then you smell them all and you're like, all right, do I smell them again? Do I rank them? I'm like, I'm so bored. I just want to be home. My crew I rolled with, my we called ourselves Bethlehem because we lived in Bethlehem, West Virginia. <laughs> and we all wore necklaces. We all wore chains, but we had a different scented air freshener on the end. That's so <laughs> sick. That's, uh, I was going to make fun of that. If you would have came cool. to Bay Tree, Dylan You Man wouldn't survive. <laughs> Scott Slater, Dylan Mangino, Colton, they would all beat you guys. You shit, you had Colton. Not Colton, okay, Dylan Mangino. That's Dylan what I fucking thought. Yeah. No, okay, I had Vincent Goo and Cleveland Gaines and Josh Vincent Marino. Goo? Yeah, he's the biggest Chinese Josh Marino's a wild, yeah, those are wild cards, yeah. <laughs> My crew was I insane, thought. and we all looked, uh, dude, my I'm a giant Chinese guy, the only black guy in town, and Josh Marino, who had a scar on his forehead from diving in a shallow end of a pool. Yeah. So like, my cool. crew assembled, looked like the cover. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good United group. Nations are willing. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, okay, so we're three to two in favor of the bad seating arrangement. Mook. Yeah, uh, the bad lunch period is way worse because the era in the consolation prize, like going to Target, getting like a pack of like Pokemon cards for being a good boy, getting a, a video game. You were always a good boy. I know it. I was a bad boy. 
Oh. I was a bad boy. You take me to Macy's, I'm acting up. But if you take me to Target, <laughs> dude, I'm having a good time. You're always a good. You're still terrified of disappointing your parents. I am. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. So, uh, were you hiding in like those circular clothing racks at Macy's? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. That blast. was fun, yep. dude. I did that when I was way too old, and I came out <laughs> right in front of a girl I had a crush on. <laughs> <laughs> Worst. Those are. I might get one of those for my apartment. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, going to those shirts. Going to Macy's and uh, hiding in the shirts. <laughs> hey, what's up? Feeling up the mannequins. Yeah. Oh, man. oh yeah. You got no one in the area in like your department, and you got a nice mannequin titty in front. Oh yeah. It's like what is what is this? Yeah. So you see what it feels what's like. This made of. <laughs> I've never seen this, but uh, bad lunch period by a mile. Bad lunch period, mush. Bad lunch period. Lunch period is being. A sign seating was was wicked. Did we, you never, was I, never a, had I didn't have a sign seat. Uh, I think we did a couple. Not in high school, but free seat. I was friends with the lunch lady. I was friends <laughs> with the I was friends with the weirdest probably people all the time. But you guys didn't like go to Home Depot and Healy around? Healy. I was, at Healy. Home Depot was the Home best Depot's place to Healy. Yeah. And they, yeah, they the best floor. The floor. Best floor. For that, yeah. Yeah, errands, I always found something fun to do. You're right. So I, I never really minded the errands. But the lunch period is really fucked up. Like, you could really... You cannot be in like your friend group anymore at all because that's where everything went down. Everything, oh, and they tell stories about stuff later that you weren't there for. Oh yeah. yes, oh, yeah. Then my boys like, started a club that I wasn't. No, in. you yeah. don't want to be the little guy like you had to be there for that. Yeah, you don't want to be that guy. All right, so the bad seating arrangement's going to move on. The number twelve seed running errands the parents loses. That was Clemmers. This is if it's if the rest are anything like this, this is going to be a tough episode. Yeah. Now we got the number four seed. Uh, this is. Grocery shopping with your mom, and she bumps into a friend and talks forever. Oh. <laughs> and there's nothing you can. Oh, there's a lot sucks. that makes. Oh God! It's like a couple of different people submitted this, and they had different addendums <laughs> to it. And one person mentioned that it always seems to happen very close to checkout, like right. I when forgot you're about this. It's a phenomenon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it works out though. Oh, and they would do it on purpose with people they barely knew. They would text each other. Had to. They weren't even texting big, at the time. Uh, they were house. It would orchestrate then. it. Yeah, there was yeah. no way they ran into him every time. And that's going up against the number 13 seed. Uh, your better or better looking or cooler friend wearing the same thing item that you ha- bought at the same day. So like you bought a new brand new pair of like whatever, Jordan, something like that. And they also wear that new pair the same day that you're debuting it. I don't think I've ever look. had that happen to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a cooler person wearing something that you th- you have. That would pump me up. That means this is a cool yeah, item. Too. I'm like, all right, I'm on yeah, the right that, track. Be bad for them. Yeah. I would be very happy with that. Well, let's see how people feel. Right. Most you're up first. I'm for sure going with the bumping into your, with your mom. Because those conversations don't end ever. Mm-hmm. Like, they, and it's always in the weirdest aisle, too. It's never in the cereal aisle or the candy it's aisle. It's always next to the fucking tampons. <laughs> <laughs> or like the yeah. lingerie aisle at the like, <laughs> pharmacy or something. Have you ever accidentally wandered into the lingerie as a kid in like Walmart? Oh, I would be I depressed for the entire duration I was in that aisle. Like, I couldn't just leave and go to another aisle. Yeah, because yeah, you'd be rude if you left. And yeah. you don't know, like, and you can't interject into the conversation because you don't actually I'm care. Talking it's, about stuff that yeah. you want to talk and about. And if they had a kid there also with them that you didn't like, that was even oh, worse. Because daughter you, that you were afraid yeah. of. Yeah. 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 Dude, I was afraid of so many daughters. So many daughters. So many. <laughs> so that's that was my biggest fear as a kid is daughters. Uh, yeah. It's one for bumping into the friend. Mook? Yeah, two for bumping into the friend. That is a, a nightmare. You're kind of stuck in like the upside down at that point. There's no getting <laughs> out. And uh the cooler, the cooler friend thing, like that is like, like they said, like it's, it's a sign of like, okay, you're doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. You're, you're wearing the right clothes. So bump it in to the friend. That's fair. Maybe. Yeah. That's a, what a pool. Whoever decided that one, I forgot about it entirely. Or the, when they would leave at the, when we were checking out, they had to go, they forgot an item oh. and they left you solo there. Branded, yeah. yeah. You're also an insane person if you associate with someone cooler than you. You should never have a cooler friend. Everyone should be less cool. You than should you. always have to. You never. You always need to make sure that no one could be cooler than you. And like, so you don't be the over, reacher, basically. Like no, yeah. no. Let them. Oh, you go always want to be with the cooler people. No. Yes. Oh, this is your submission. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you uh, ever lost your mom at the grocery store? Yeah. And had to like go up to the front and then they like call her name out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I was I never that lost. That is that is embarrassing. Um, yeah. I think oh I told that story, this story before, but um, I'm terrified my mom out of lingering too long because that uh, little person that kept walking in the aisles with us. And then like, like, you know, like you keep tracing back and forth with people in the aisles because like you're both going from the same direction. 
I kept, we kept passing this little person that was going uh, by us. And at one point I stopped her and I said, you're not a real lady. <laughs> oh, and, gosh. and my mom was like, I'm so sorry. And ran, ran us out. I don't you're you're outing yourself as being a monster of a child. <laughs> yeah, was an Ken Jack was just a <laughs> racist. It. When he was a, he just, any black person walked by, let's get out. Because Ken Jack's going to say crazy shit. <laughs> one time there was a guy that walked by with one arm and my parents just ran me the other direction. <laughs> and they was like, no, I'm not even going to wait for that. Uh, Nick. Um, I was annoyed like in the same vein as like a cooler kid wearing something like if he knew I had it first I remember on a dress down day in school I wore a Pillsbury Doughboy shirt and then the next dress down day some like I started a trend everybody was wearing Pillsbury Doughboy shit Joseph Nider, <laughs> Logan Seidler, both. Oh, no, Joseph Pillsbury Nider Doughboy. never yes, did that. He <laughs> came and wearing Pillsbury Doughboy <laughs> t-shirts never. and I was pissed off because I was like my thing. Um, your mom talking to somebody in the grocery store was the longest thing ever. Mm. And then yeah. the only form of entertainment you had was like, did you guys have those like red machines in the aisle where you could pull out the coupons? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would just I, yeah. like, pull those out. They'd be blinking, begging to be tugged. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> you weren't allowed. Um, yeah. So those, it was, um, it happened every time at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Every time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't have older siblings, so if I was wearing the same clothes as like a cool kid, I would feel good because I never knew like what to do. Like, I never knew which stores to go to. I was always like very clueless in the mall, like where to go. So oh. if I matched with somebody, I'd be so happy. Uh, the worst was the mom running into stuff. Like yeah. you had two aisles of like two places you could go to save yourself at a supermarket. The cereal aisle or like the magazine aisle. He's right. If it's not Ed those right. aisles, like Ed right. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> correct. And like anywhere else, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I gotta go that because just the wall. You know, you have There's twelve aisles when you're in the cereal aisle that your mom sees somebody. Please magazine or please cereal. Right, and other than that, you're fucked. So yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> see so right. It's definitely harder for you because there's so many less people that existed. Oh well, yes, so the odds were so. <laughs> but, they, but there were more magazines back then. Yeah, which is yes. facts. <laughs> okay. Definitely mom conversation in the store and even not even childhood. I remember after I dropped out of college and had to move home <laughs> and I didn't have a car. Oh, that is worse. Oh, <laughs> an adult. That's oh, that's worse. Much yeah. worse. And you're, I'm like 19. We're in Walmart and we run into my friends, like my mom's friends who had kids like my age too. And they're bragging about what their kids are up to. And I could just feel the tension building. Yeah. Okay. That is the like, worst yeah, version of this. Just, I remember I called it the Walmart prayer. I'd be like, please, God, this son, like, please don't let us run into anyone because I'm like, I feel like asking you, know, you like, yeah. oh, what's what are you there? What are you up to? This yeah, they would ask. Mom grocery shop? Uh, so nice. You question, came home though. from Oh, you're school? home. Yeah, you're <laughs> home this weekend. And I could just feel my mom like, like, that was the good thing, though, that that ended it. And she'd be like, we got to go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, that was always the worst. It's going to win. But Shay, it was your submission yeah. that's losing here. Yes. I think it's a wash with the, uh, uh, the mom seeing her friend in the grocery store. The Roan has the exact same pair of shoes that you are currently wearing. I was so stoked when he, when he walked <laughs> Oh, you I were? Was, I was so happy. Oh, yeah, okay. that's big. Yeah. 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 Roan especially. He wore, he wears this Philly artist t-shirts by this Philly artist sometimes and before I saw him wearing one, I had one and then I saw him wear one and I was like, I'm on to something. I'm doing something cool for the first time in my life. I've been, I, yeah. yeah, and so I think I've been copying Roan enough. I wore a pair of socks. He was like, I have those. And we have the same targeted ads now. <laughs> I, I, I've, You're perfect. I'm perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a movie where Dylan O'Brien was playing a very cool character, and he was wearing those same brown swept trance that Owen always wears. Oh, yeah. Weird shit on it. Yeah. Yes. Owen is Owen has cool stuff. He's cool yeah. stuff. He's Only cool. once has someone worn the same clothes as me in the office. Frank? Frank Fleming. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you they weren't exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> it was. They were both Tom Seaver jerseys. <laughs> You're wrong, Nick. <laughs> All right, next match is eight versus the nine. The eight seed is. I like this one. Having parents that care. Uh, so not being allowed to stay out late. You're not allowed to go to certain places. Can't have sleepovers. Anything like that. <laughs> And that's against the nine seed, uh, pretending to like a Christmas gift from grandparents, Ooh. which so is the $10 check is yeah. always a tough one to act excited over. Uh, Jay. Uh, pretending to like the Christmas gift. I had one uncle that would, every Christmas would give me a savings bond, oh. which is not a check. <laughs> Least exciting. <laughs> it's not money. Yeah. It is. You have to... The rules around it, and I would just cash them early. If you wait six months, you can cash it for half the value. You would do it? 
Yes. <laughs> to me, a fifty dollars second bond is completely worthless. It is worth twenty five dollars in six months. <laughs> so uh, yes, I absolutely hated getting those, and you just and. That's just one example. I mean, like, clo- whenever they tried to buy clothes, it was just oh, a disaster. Yeah. Uh, so it's got to be that. Um, what was the first? It was the first one. My brain is jelly. Uh, having parents that care. Oh, that's the one. Having parents that care. Um, <laughs> my parents, even my senior year of high school, if I was going to like a party or something like that, they would call or walk to the front door to make sure the parents were there. Mm. And so I would be like, "Fine, I'm just not even going to go." Oh, that's I was, bad. Yeah, because yeah. I would be so embarrassed. And yeah. Then, yeah. It was so embarrassing. And then I just got sneaky. It backfired mm. on them big time. <laughs> yeah. So, but oh, I hate it. was so embarrassing. Yeah. I grew up in the 80s and early 90s. So, like, n- parents didn't care at all. So, that's not even like on my <laughs> scope of anything to worry about. What was the other one? Uh, pretending to like a gift from grandpa. Yeah. So, one time my nana, my nana and papa were awesome. I loved them so much and they were so good to me. But, and oh. I was 10 and a little monster and just a piece of shit. And they gave me ice skates and I hate ice skating. I opened up, I go, I hate ice skating. I hate these ice skates. They fucking suck. Yeah, yeah as you said that. And I start, and I, well, I was just having a tough time going family stuff at home. My dad was really sick. Right, I was easy. just having a meltdown. All right. And I started, <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I start bawling and run away and like and my I remember I just right before I left I saw my nana's face and she seemed so sad and I think about that like once a month. Oh, like, <laughs> oh geez. There's nothing you can do to me. Alright, next Nick, you're up. I just broke me. <laughs> nothing you God damn it. I just, Jesus Christ Clumber. Yeah. It's real, it's true. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. It was real, all right. It was sad. Did you have gray hair when you were a kid too? No, no. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah. So I, I got to say that one because I can't fix that. Yeah, you do oh, got to yeah. say that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. That was a must yeah. hear for us. Nick? It hurts. Um, so I didn't lash out like that when I got a bad <laughs> gift, but I do remember I wanted the Harry Potter books so bad. I wanted to start reading Harry Potter, and my grandma got me, fuck it, I haven't read a single one. She got me Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, That's no. the third one. Oh, and she was like, yeah, go so ahead and go start it. My parents were like, go start it. And I was like, oh, I got this fucking third. And they didn't get it, so I had to go start reading Harry Potter <laughs> on Christmas oh, at my grandma's. On an uncuffy, uncomfy couch with like the plastic wrap the on worst. it. Yeah, the worst. Making couch. that unsticking noise every time I like lift my arm to turn the page. I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. Um, and I just had to do it. And the, my disappointment I, on the car ride home, I think I was a little cunt. Um, but before I, you know, uh, it's it's gifts from grandma. Not one grandparent has had a comfortable couch. No, they Not don't. They don't go for comfort. I give a shit about that yeah. ever. Yeah. No, all all mine just sat in that kitchen table. Yeah, oh yeah! yeah. Oh, never yeah. went to like did, the yeah. couch. Like, go lay down. Plastic wrap on it. Besides, when my, sorry, yeah, it's a different story. My grandma was, she was old as shit, and there was a fire in the house, and she just, dude, what the fuck? No, it was funny. It was, it was a fire in the house, <laughs> and my mom was on the phone. She said, ah, "Don't worry about it. I'm all good." My mom sent me. It was like a half hour fire, huge ass fire. <laughs> my grandma took a nap. In the fire? And I took it. I I put out the fire, and she just said nothing. We never talked about it after that. Oh I got to show you this picture. She just was sleeping and smoke all over her face. <laughs> she didn't it is unbelievable. You never spoke about it with her? Same. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Pass it down. What am I looking at? Pass it down. That's just a bunch of smoke on my grandma's face when she took a nap <laughs> in the fire. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> it's going up on for the YouTubers. We will have to put this up. Oh send shit! That to you. Jesus! Oh, she was just Aww. sleeping, bro. The full on fire. Like the whole kitchen had to get gutted. <laughs> and I took a I took a picture of her and left. Old people are always cold. It was probably the first time she was comfortable yeah. in like fifteen yeah. years. Yeah. Holy shit! Aww. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Uh, KB. Well, for me, it was the parents who cared, the curfews, the bedtime. Your bedtime no, was insane. We no talked about it all the in time. the house. What was your bedtime? Yeah. Like eight, right after Rugrats. Oh, so, so what it was time still is that? like it wasn't fully in the summers. I'd be going to bed when it was still light out. Oh. Yep, same. How do you go to like? How do you sleep? Not, while I heard my neighbors playing, my oh, much yes. younger neighbors. Oh, that was me. In, like, in uh, retrospect, she was unintentionally. That was biohacking, and it was great. For- <laughs> Open me conservation. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mook. 
<laughs> uh, parents that care by a mile. I was always jealous of like the shitty parents. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. The best. We're so like, jealous. Like, like the their... worst pa- like the, the shittiest worst. human beings. I like, will... giving their kid like a handle of Tito's and yeah, like, have yes. a good night in the basement. Just don't drive home. Like we'll drive you home. Like those parents. So yeah. the Christmas gift thing, it, it's almost funny. Like my grandma has gifted me the same pair of pajama pants from her retirement home gift shop for the past 15 years. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is a, a bit at this point. So uh, parents, your, for sure. your grandma's retirement home has a gift shop. Oh yeah, Sick. <laughs> that's so funny. I want yeah. some merch. I, I'll, I'll I'll hook it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Marty, gonna break it's, the tie. Uh, it's parents that care. I don't. I I think it's fun to get bad gifts and then get in the car to home and talk shit about it. And then I rip on it. Yeah. Shit about gifts that you get because they're never it, good. I always felt a pang of guilt returning it, but then it was awesome yeah. just to have like the store yeah. credit. Mm-hmm. So Nick had the losing selection here. Yeah, I one vote. Uh, yeah. It is going to be Good parents match. that <laughs> having parents that don't care. That's going to move on. Do care? Uh, yeah. So now we have the one versus the sixteen seed chain. We'll do the chain first. Uh, okay. First, we have when your parents put mustard on your windowsill so you can't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Huge inconvenience. Oh, you Che used to chew on his windowsill, so to prevent that, his parents would rub mustard on the window so or maybe you want to eat the sill more because he hates, he hates mustard, mustard. He, loves yeah. he loves the oh, taste if of i sill, saw you chewing on a window i'd drop you the doorstep <laughs> i'm leaving i'm letting my kid go you can't what are you chewing on it was the paint <laughs> <laughs> yeah because it, it was also matchbox cars so i would like chew, i would paint. like was it eat the, the paint the off the of matchbox cars. What? the taste or the so texture like what about i don't the remember <laughs> He's like just, that dude's. Just all, like, he's yeah. like that dude's grandpa that got into the yogurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it would be like the chewiness of the wood yes. or something. This is so much worse. Oh, yeah. I think it. I think it was the paint. Like, I don't think it was really a wood thing. It was just like I had Addicted. to get to the paint, so the wood was. <laughs> they had put the edible mustard onto the. What kind of mustard? Was spicy still, or it was like spicy brown? Yeah, yeah. the Gouldens. Yeah, it's yeah. not mm. cheap. Uh, after that. Uh, this one I need an explanation for this one. This is from Mush. Uh, the kid who sits next to you in class who has leaking ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know what's crazy? Le- That's the most somber yeah ever. Yeah, it's what's tough. That? I feel bad, but it's crazy that supposedly he owns a pizza restaurant Dave just did a pizza review there no I saw him and that's what just it did it oh, we're about it to was oh, wait def- what do you mean him real well here. leaky ear yeah, leaky. what do you mean wax he doesn't have it anymore but he would wax? have liquid wax that would oh. just start flying out of his- oh. <laughs> and we would just be like and you, if you sat next to him it's like the worst day ever I feel terrible but I, it's just something that really since I saw him on that video I said oh yeah. my god I call him my friends yeah leaking. literal like leaking it was like liquid it was wax, liquid yeah. wax. Yeah. it was like you wouldn't clean what it? color was it? it it was a problem he didn't even know it was coming out I think his ears were numb oh. like he didn't it was yellow it was like gold yellow oh. it was wild that does sound very inconvenient yeah. very inconvenient yeah. Yeah. Uh, you also put toilets. Yeah, I had a toilet problem. I liked flushing things. I flushed my mom's <laughs> engagement ring down the toilet. What? Whoa. Yeah. No. Yep. Uh, they'd be, and then I would flush everything. And then I, because it is kind of, it's like a magic trick. It still is. Still incredible. Like, where's yeah, it? It is. It's, it's, it's a great <laughs> yeah. trick. And then I used to put Fruit Loops in there and aim to try Oh, yeah. What was the inconvenience? That. Just that being there. Yeah, like it's just something like, I don't totally get it. No, it's the alternative. Like, I could. It's just I would throw everything in there. It's a real problem for me. Uh, che, you had the girl that you have a crush on likes your brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would suck. Uh, wait, so did this happened to you? No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was trying to put myself in a regular teenage American. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a brother, but I don't have a brother. Would suck. Mm, I have two younger, especially brothers, if you have an so. older brother. Yes, that's it's mm, done. Yes. Yeah, dude, like, uh, her liking your younger brother. Would, oh, that would break uh, everything. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that, that happened to me at a family party. What? A side of my family set up this girl who wasn't related to us. Just a, a heads up <laughs> with my younger brother instead of setting her up with me. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what age was she? This was like three months ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, what was her age and what was your age? I think she was like twenty four. Mm. I was twenty five. How would your brother? 22. Yeah, you got it. You yeah, should have got first. Got to say yeah. something about that. I got wrecked. Dude. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one from Che also. Uh, Is your brother hot? Yeah, he's like Italian. <laughs> wait, wait. Hey, what? what happened to you? I don't your, fucking know, dude. Brother? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. He's, he's like, like Italian. Yeah. Black hair? 
Uh, he has brown hair, dark brown hair. He gets tan, um, and he like boxes and fucking I don't know. He, he's just a completely different I, human. Are being. you okay? <laughs> we're I'm doing so we're bad. doing trauma on this episode. So <laughs> I'm not and, and, and Jack has a hot brother too. I have two hot brothers actually. The yeah, marine, a, hot brother. a hot marine brother. I have a hot marine yeah, brother. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they have. Do they have good hair? It, both of them do. Oh, God, my, my middle brother scumbags. has impeccable hair. What a scumbag! Insane. That's so annoying. Yeah, and they're all both taller than me too. Oh God! Better. Yeah. Some great stuff. Uh, this is a good one. Shit, that would break me. Yeah. Uh, pizza being out. <laughs> pizza day being all out of pizza. The last slice goes right before you. Mm. Is this yeah. a situation that's happened? It was almost, we would only get one anyway, though. And that was more of a tease than getting none. Mm. You get one? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's also. Yeah, yeah, right my, so cheap. Standard. Actually, no, you had to order. You, your parents would have right. to do. Are you talking about at lunch? One or yeah. two. Yes. Yeah. Same. Mm. They would never run out. Oh yes, they would. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, I went to a small. We would. You're yeah. talking about like the cafeteria pizza. The cafeteria it was sure. like the, the that squares. Lunch day, the so what did oh. did you have to? Get oh the- no, I'm talking about like they would order from like Domino's. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, mine would not do that. Just the Elio's pizza, which sucked. So, yeah. um, all right. So we have to vote among the chain. Uh, when your parents put mustard on your windowsill, uh, the kid who sits next to you with leaky ears, toilets. Girl, you have a crush on likes your brother, and then pizza day. So we'll start with you, Mush. Which one of these do you want to represent the 16 seed? I'm calling with the ears. You guys have no idea. We really don't. It's true. Because you don't know when it's going to start oh. either. Wait, it was like intermittent? Like- yeah, it wouldn't just go all day. It would just randomly. Jesus. <laughs> going a uh, brother crush, it hurts. It's, not, <laughs> it's personal. Brother crush. Yeah, but the the ear thing sounds like the worst thing to happen. But the biggest, inc- yeah, the brother crush. Brother crush. My best friend growing up was like a brother to me, and significantly better looking than I am. So every time I would talk to a girl, they're just like, "Who is that? Who is that?" <laughs> Can you hook me um, up with him. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm going mm-hmm. brother, crush. brother crush. Clemmer. When I was in elementary school and junior high, I was terrified when I was taking a shit that some somebody older than me would kick the door down and beat the shit out of me. <laughs> this is a fear of mine. I mean, what? 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 <laughs> what? Oh, hey, pussy, you shitting? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds insane. Taking a piss in there a little bit. <laughs> I was really scared. I told you not to shit. <laughs> <laughs> this was any time I had a grade above me. It was never anyone in my own grade, but I was really afraid someone was going to kick in the stall and just start beating me up. It was, I, it was a real, so I poop as fast as I can. So I got to say toilets. Born? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't toilet, see it coming. Toilet. Hey, let's go. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> toilets I was, are scary. It gave me so much anxiety. I was so nervous. <laughs> I've, I've never heard of someone having that fear. Oh. And it never. There was no reason to have it. It was complete. Like it never once even come close to happening. <laughs> what, that, did it, what about like when people knocked on the stall while you're in there? Did that like scare you? That, that happened so rarely. No, it was more like someone, like, someone kicking in the door. That's what I was afraid of. Gate. Um. I will say there was a girl on my bus in elementary school who had it wasn't liquid, but the wax like came out to the brit. Like there oh. was so much oh. that I viscerally like remember when you said I was like I knew a waxier kid <laughs> yeah. and it stick like I can see it like I can still it's ruined in my your day. Head. But I gotta have to go. Um, I had a brother, but I had a girl who lived across the street from me. We were the same age, and guys always went for her. Uh. <laughs> for her, so I'm gonna say that one. Like the sibling, hotter sibling. So Che, your one's gonna get through. But which one would you vote for? Brother crush. That would be. Yeah, brother crush. All right. So the brother crush is gonna move on, and it's gonna go up against our number one seed of the day. Uh, having to rely on your parents for your social life. Which means, like, anytime you want to go to a friend's house, parents have to drive you. They have to sign off on it. They have to do this. Oh, you want to go to this event, parents got to bring you. Parents got to sign off on it. Your entirety of the all, anything you want to do needs to be signed off by your parents. Yeah. Uh, major inconvenience, especially if they are parents that do care. Uh, so, Steve. I'm going to say brother, because I feel like that's most parents, like, not all parents, but, like, they are aware of your whereabouts. Not necessarily like signing off, but being like, all right, yeah, whatever. Like, I don't think it's like crazy for them to be not helicopter, but like very in the know. So I'm going to say Brother Crush. Brother Crush, Kate? I'm going with parents running your social life. Is that I like grew up in the boonies kind of. And not so, but like on the other, all my friends lived on the other side of our school district. So it'd be like a 30 minute drive to get to my, the neighborhood where all my friends were. And my parents would be like, sorry, we don't feel like doing that today. And I'm like, it's not my fault. You chose to live in like the bum fuck, whatever. Um, so I'd be like 16, like playing in the creek at the bottom of my neighborhood. Like, right. like what the fuck am else am I going to do before I got my license? Um, that's the one. Yeah. Gotcha. Climber. <laughs> I moved from New Ham from New York 
Long Island to New Hampshire. I went from having like HBO to living on a dirt road in a matter of one summer. It was awful. And I, I need your biography. Something <laughs> there's things that happen. Awful. And like so I was like four miles away from the nearest store. So I needed my pa- my parents are pretty good about like bring me places, but there were so many times I remember waiting for them to come pick me up or I would just be stuck somewhere and just like having right, like they controlled everything. And, and that was just it was awful, especially those years in New Hampshire. So I gotta say that. You ever do the collect call? Where it's like, all the time. Hey, you want the YMCA come get married? Yep. I'm ready to be picked up. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nick? Yeah, it was that. And if my parents were like a second late, yeah. I was oh. such an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Such a dickhead. Um, I loved to roll my eyes at my parents when I was a kid. I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> I would just growl at my parents. So all disrespectful. Day. <laughs> Oh, I spoke to him for like 10 years. <laughs> yeah, that. Relying on parents, KB? Yeah, that. Nothing to add. Yeah. Relying on parents. I missed out. Like, you ever have like, uh, you're trying to have a sleepover with your buddy and you're like uh, trying to convince your mom. Yeah. Uh, to stay? To stay. Oh, and then you put yeah. your mom on the phone with their mom and it's like a whole fucking yeah. thing. Yeah. So, parents for sure. I feel like once you get mom talking to mom, you're in the clear. Yeah. yeah. That was like the so, light at the end of the tunnel. But that would like piss my mom off. Oh yeah, she would come to pick me up and be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> no, are I you? hate talking to her. Why are you making me look like a bitch to Karen? <laughs> <laughs> Marty, I'm going with parents as well. The worst is when they would pick you up and then like you're wanting to leave, and then they go in and talk to the parents as well, mm-hmm. and then you're just waiting there for another fucking hour, and just don't want to be yeah. there anymore. Yeah. All right. On the other side, we have the six versus the eleven. Uh, the six seed, pretty simple, not having money. Uh, not having money, huge detriment as a child. If you can't buy things you want, you can't. You, you, there's nothing you can do to gain more if your parents don't want you to have money. Um, so not having money, going up against the number 11 seed. Uh, I'm not going to say who submitted it. Having red hair. Mm. <laughs> no, this is easy. So not having money or having red hair. <laughs> Marty. Not even close. Having red hair. <laughs> Not even <laughs> close. You would rather have zero dollars. I had no. I, I didn't, my parents already gave me money, and it's just like, let's be honest. When you don't see a single human being in your life, and there's a, that one kid who has red hair, you're like, there's something wrong with that guy. Why did I fucking submit? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one, though. Don't out it. It's a good one. I knew one redhead kid. His name was Eddie Murphy. <laughs> No fucking way. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, that is a redheaded name. (laughs) It is is such a redhead name. I know. (laughs) Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. (laughs) Yeah, it's true. It's an Irish name. It makes complete sense. He went by Eddie. He didn't go by Eddie. Oh, it's always Eddie Murphy. (laughs) He had the whole thing you have to say. (laughs) It was always that. He was that kid. You ever have a kid? Who uh, couldn't pronounce R's? Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. He's like, look at that squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> like, get to give me a quail. He was one of those. Yeah. So that's, that's, your own, that's one of you. <laughs> oh, my God. So Eddie. one for having red hair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know how this is an 11 seed, dude. What the, I mean, you lose every argument as a kid. You get into, like, an argument. They just pull out a trump card. You're a redheaded freak. Fuck off. And then South Park changed oh, South my life. Park I couldn't had to be ruined. Yeah. So much damage. Ruined. Yeah. Uh, and the gingers have no souls, kid. Yes. Yeah. So let's also say the Murdaws didn't help. Yeah, you. that recently. Uh, that was bad PR. All, yeah. That was bad PR. But uh, yeah, the redheaded thing. You got to change sure. PR for redheads. <laughs> well, here's the thing: if you were just a girl, you'd be lusted after. Yeah, that's true. It, you. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of bad girls that are. Re- ne- never mind. I'm not going to speak on that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you are like a Pokemon at that point. It's like I want to check that off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, Maybe. he's right. You with no money, you survive in advance. Kind of, it's kind of thrilling. Mm-hmm. Having red hair though, Scott. Just the position you're in as a child. Yeah, be the probably the only one in your class or one of the few. And you can't like be friends with other redheads because then it's just. Weird. How does that work? Uh, that's, Do you yeah. have any redheaded can't. friends? Holy shit! I didn't even think or about. Ever that. had? I have had it. But when you're together, it's like you look around, you're like, oh, people are looking at us for yeah. sure. Yeah. 
<laughs> I never even thought of, I've never seen two redheads like in the same room. Me neither. I, I, mean, yeah. I, will, I think I've ever seen you and Francis like next to each other once. Yeah, we don't really. <laughs> <laughs> We keep, we keep a business. Dude. It's, um, That's so funny. Holy shit. I, when I'm drunk, though, if I do see a guy at the bar with like the same hair as me, I'll be like, what up, dude? Yeah. Let's like keep a, walking. Like the Jeep wave. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So we got uh, three for red hair. Nick? My allowance um, when I was younger, I only had an allowance for a very short period of time, but it was magnets. I would get a different magnet at the end of the week. Oh my and my parents bought so this fun. big magnet kit. And I would just get a different magnet at the end of the week for doing chores. Um, that was awesome. It's way better than current. Oh, ma- oh, magnets were your allowance. Yeah, I thought you were spending your allowance. No, oh, no, no, no. I was yeah. getting magnets. You had a lot of magnets too. At the end of the week, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did too. Uh. My cut, my fridge was covered in them. Mm. Hundred, <laughs> hundreds. Of it was covered in them. I cut my fridge. It was covered <laughs> in magnets. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. Of course. And that's not too weird. No, that's that's for everyone. Ha- it's not They're like play magnets. Anymore, they were like the horseshoe shaped ones, like um. Oh. Like fun science magnets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, oh. I was fine having no money, but being red, I, like I'm borderline. I, I, I could sometimes I could be like with you my beard. Um, my sister is strawberry blonde. Uh, she, you know, dodged a bullet. Mm. Um, <laughs> a bullet. But yeah, it's got to be red, red hair. Yeah. You can't win an argument as a child, and a lot of childhood is is arguing. Mm-hmm. I get red hairs in my beard sometimes, and even that scares me. Viking like blood. <laughs> I love talking about it. It's like he's just sitting here like this. Yeah. He's not he knows. <laughs> I've heard all of this before. Yeah, that's the thing. You can't you hurt submitted him. Submitted that. <laughs> I'm numb. Yeah. One of the few groups you can still be very racist to and get away with. I'm pushing. No problem. I'm pushing for the college app like checkbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Clemmer. You can always get money. Like whether it be like you know aluminum cans, you find inside the road. Obviously, ask your parents. None of your friends have money either. But I mean. <laughs> you don't have a lot of their options the other way around, so you gotta go right here. Yeah, you right could see here. you with a big garbage bag walking yeah. around. <laughs> got like the snake with that. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Well, back yeah, then back. you joke around. Like in the eighties, it's five cent deposit. It's still a five cent deposit, but back then five cents could go a little further. Mm-hmm. So like it made sense to do the deposit. Now I change it, it to like a dollar deposit. I'd be going collecting exactly. and shit. <laughs> no like five point. cents then is like what like fifteen cents now. I'm just saying. Or I don't know, uh, Kate. Uh, so when I was in middle school and started getting crushes, like I honed in on redheads so hard and was like Red- Prince Harry, like redheads became my thing. Oh, he was hot. Prince Harry, but the redheads, you're, you're either very hot. There's like no middle. <laughs> yeah, that's no. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. No, dude. He's the one today. <laughs> Kay is the best at this. Sneak, <laughs> <laughs> queen of sneak disses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like sleeper agent disses. Oh, wait, yeah, the earmuffs for this next part because looking <laughs> oh, yeah, back. Yeah, put your earmuffs on. <laughs> <laughs> looking back, I think it's because I had like. I was on go to it. I low self esteem, and I was like, at least I know I could get a redhead. <laughs> like, it was like, oh, it man. was like that. I knew yeah. where the yeah, bar was for awesome. me, and so that's right. where I set my sights. Um, Would you ever dye your hair? Yeah, <laughs> I thought about it. I thought he had yeah. to. I thought it was a punishment from the yeah, we, yeah. We want yeah. you to. Oh yeah, black. Yeah, not about but that. eyebrows stay. Yeah, I, yes. th- I thought about. But going... I'd be fine with you going like brown and eyebrows brown. I, w- I just don't want to like fuck up my hair. What do you mean? What, what, really? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought about like uh, bleaching it at one point. Hmm. And my no. mom was like, "Don't." I don't do that. think that would look. T- oh, that, has anyone like ever pulled vinyl. that off? Any yeah, redheads? Wait for that. I don't. No. I don't know. I think do you the- love like Ed Sheeran. No, not Ed Sheeran. I'm a big Prince Harry guy. Yeah, mm. yeah he was. Um, uh, Andrew Santino also. Oh, he's, yeah, he's been doing great. He's for helpful. You guys. Is your great. facial hair red? I don't know. <laughs> it like that? doesn't come in really. It gets Who's like a spokesman for redheads. Uh, you see a ball. Who's the spokesman yeah, for yeah. like ginger redheads? Yeah, oh. yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm trying to take charge. Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Ed, Probably I hear guess so much shit Andrew on sunny Santino days. Is and like, top? San- Carrot top. Carrot top. I get Santino's the one that I want to like rise up. Yeah. And keep getting yeah. bit. Whatever. <laughs> Who's in the top redhead celebrities? There's not a lot. No. Oh. Shockingly. <laughs> The dude from Band of Brothers and then like... Oh, this, he rocks. Oh, he's yeah, great. He's cool. Damien Lewis, yeah. yeah. I just watched that. So good. And Sean supposed White. To be the Sean next White's James been Bond. great for you guys. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It was huge for yeah. you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Who did he end up marrying? Nina Dobrev? No. Uh, who did he did pretty attractive. well, yeah. He had to wear a helmet, though. That helped hurt. But regardless... It was flying out the back. Yeah. yeah. Threw it out. Flying uh, tomato. Yeah. yeah. It did help. Did you ever grow oh. your hair out? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah? Oh, yeah. You gotta try everything. I looked like Chucky, dude. It was. It was <laughs> <laughs> dude, you could either mean the Rugrat or the Killer Doll. I get compared to a different redhead every day. Oh, yeah. I think it's the one, the one redhead is Conan. Oh, yeah. Conan. Oh, there's Conan made redhead is cool. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. redheads. Yeah. Oh, hair. fucking Seth Green. Seth Green's a great redhead. Oh, there's so many. I feel like there's a pressure to be funny, too. Hey, I don't want to hear anything. Okay. Okay. You're very handsome. Uh, you sound own. like my grandma. <laughs> uh, che. As a kid, if you had red hair, you could be winning uh, like a verbal sparring session and the person could just be like, shut up, fire bush, and it is over. <laughs> fire Your self-esteem bushes. is destroyed. And that's that just sticks with you. Yeah, it's gotta be. Oh God, Mook. <laughs> yeah, he's. You're right. Just yeah, no soul. Yeah. Like you have no soul, and be that. That's the end of it. You learn to just not care. Mm. I've given up on caring about anything now because of that. Yeah. <laughs> Trial by fire. I guess. Uh, now we have the three versus the fourteen. The three is having to go to church or religion class. Uh, I think I don't know who here is Catholic, but CCD was oh, the fucking brutal. worst. Oh, yeah. It'd be like every, all schools done. If you did anything after school, like I had to do like soccer after school, and then I'd have to go to CCD after that. It was just absolute pain. Uh, and that's up against the number fourteen seed, uh, which is not being tall enough for a ride. <laughs> not gonna say who submitted it. Not saying who submitted it. Uh, che. Uh, CCD class definitely sucked, but you're in it with I like didn't submit that year. shit. Even tall enough to go to the fucking Everyone looking at me. Everyone's looking at me. In CCD class, you're with like peers and some, and like I feel like most of the time friends because it's like parent organized. I think I got left back in CCD, so I was with the grade below me. Jesus, <laughs> left back in CCD. I didn't go to any classes. Like I was in CCD with a bunch of my friends, so it wasn't that bad. Um, getting not allowed to be on a ride because you're too short there's nothing you can do and yeah. your friends get to go on the ride everyone you know your family anyone you're with at the park gets to go but you that would be just traumatized that like you can't come back from that's that sucks there's a little like a little wooden 50 other rides to go to go run off and frolic and you're having a blast mm. and you're you're tall enough to go on those and then you get to go on another there's always stuff to do but the ones that you need to be tall for the best right there's always options Teacups? You're all, you're having the time of your life. <laughs> oh, getting turned on to the teacups after like getting denied on King. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. rough. Yeah, yeah. Can't do that. Uh, Kate. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the church one, obviously, because Sunday mornings was me and my brother would play Mario on Nintendo, and it's before you could save. Mm. And I just remember at church we'd be getting so far, and I remember at church like a looming cloud was coming, ten fifteen, and we like we'd ne- we'd always be like right towards. You know, and we'd have then we'd have to go to church. It was just like the rest of the day was screwed because you had church, then Sunday school, and yeah, one to one, clever. My father was intrigued by like the concept of Christianity and like theology. <laughs> so we would balance with different. Yeah, was he? Was it on his radar? Fucking <laughs> Peter. So we would spend like we'd spend a year being Baptist, then we'd spend a year doing Roman Catholic stuff. Then we'd spend. Oh, a he year... switched to around. <laughs> He's like, uh, he's like I want to get the full gamut. He's like, this is an int- interesting. A sampler platter of yes. Christianity. Your upbringing is the weirdest. <laughs> yeah. it's so fucking bizarre. So because of this, like, I would maybe I would be in like the Catholic stuff with my friends, like, cool, and then I would bounce to maybe the Baptist, and I didn't have any friends there. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, like Protestant one year, I was just like, fuck this. So I bounce it around. I'd always, and there'd always be like. Right, CCD was like on Wednesdays, but then like the next thing, the Baptist thing was on Sunday, so now I'm missing football. And on Wednesdays, maybe I'm missing a good TV show. I just felt like I was being jostled around. I didn't like it. The second, my dad says, the second you're 15, you don't need to worry about, uh, you know, which one you go to anymore. But he died then, so then it was like, it didn't matter anyway. Uh, <laughs> all right, Clemmer. Clemmer. What the fuck is going on? He Clemmer. won. <laughs> Are you the one who picked this topic? Uh, no, okay. Oh, he, oh, he picked yes. the general topic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like yeah, this is uh... He wanted to talk to somebody about his <laughs> yeah, childhood. That's basically like what he's doing. Going to therapy, yeah. yeah. Uh, Nick. So I went to a Catholic school, but I wasn't Catholic. I was a Lutheran, so I still had to go to the classes afterwards. Oh, I didn't know that. It was a small class with all the homeschooled kids of the area. And I just remember there was uh, one girl. Every time like you would yawn or like open your mouth, she would go and exhale into your mouth. <laughs> oh, fuck. It was terrifying. So what I did was I ripped her off for her Charizard first edition, and Let's I still fucking have it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for you. So, I, um, so I'm thankful for those classes, so I will go with... Um, what was the other one? Not being tall enough for the ride. Uh. Oh, I'm not a ride guy, so I take it back. Those classes. <laughs> classes. I'm afraid of rides. Three to one. I'll do it. 
There was there is no longer hour of life than church. Oh. And there was nothing you could do. True. There was no constantly you had to you had to think about things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. Fucking stop ending without ending your sentence, you fuck. You asshole. Yeah. Uh, Mook, church, easy. My parents were like trying to get me involved for some like healthy, you know, activities. And they would force me to go, force me to go to like uh, night school or not, not night school, but like youth group or whatever. So uh, church by a mile. Church by a mile. Church by a mile. What's the one where you're in second grade and you got to tell. Like communion. Yeah, I think so. Right? Oh, what's confession. the one? A reconciliation? Yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. That one's the worst. You you're like your priest when you were jerking off. Or, oh, that like, was like I would just like I, tip. Oh, I did. actually had to. I told yeah, him I every used, stroke. I didn't. Like, <laughs> 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 you would just click his dentures at me back. <laughs> yeah, no, it's for sure, church. No, it's not. It's never an hour. It it feels like it's at least four. It feels. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The perception the of an hour is it was. Insane. My parents never let us sneak out with all the other cool families after communion. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was that the was perfect time to ever. Go. No, no, no. I always wanted to go with them. Mm. Go. And they never. She never let me go. You're so right. Yep. Damn. I think the confirmation classes were worse. <laughs> confirmation classes were fucking awful. Yeah, because I was in the basement of the church. Yeah, me too. Church there. basements were, yeah. <laughs> were <laughs> interesting. A lot of time. So I used it to go no sense. play bingo at a church basement every Monday. And it was fucking sick. Yeah, uh, old, uh, with the elderly, they would get so mad at each other. Like the fun. cops got called once. They don't play for it's fun. like it was like they were arguing with each other. They they don't play. And it was got high stakes. Mm-hmm. Even though I'm sure, like you're not supposed to gamble. It like, like, feels like it's against the <laughs> yep spirit. everything. Yeah, everything. Uh, okay, so the church is going to move on. Now we have the number seven seed versus the ten. The seven seed. I just need to read it out. Um, it's it's very complex. Uh, okay. You just loaded up Tony Hawk and opened a fresh bag of potato chips. Life doesn't get better than this. Lame house friend calls home phone. Uh, Mom hands you the phone. Nasally voice. Do you want to come over? Your mom said you could. Uh, In parentheses. At this moment, I really wish text messaging existed so I could think of a lie. Okay, yeah. Yep. That's your number 17. (laughs) Good seed. (laughs) It's going up against the number 10 seed. Uh, being asked to pause your video game to do something. Or oh. alternatively, cool. I think you could include in this, uh, being asked to do something in a video game you can't pause. Which yeah, is if, or if you worse. can't save. With the, yeah. yeah, if you can't, oh. it's a it's a live thing. You can't pay, save it all. Um, okay, so Mush. That's tough. Someone, you also sound like World of T-shirts and Clemmer in your accent. Right? Nasally right. voice? Yeah. It's hey. Both. It's a compliment. I know. I'm saying, why are you like, giving World of T-shirts a hard time? Nuts. That was like a good, good, for, impression. good impression. All right. Um, I'm going with uh, pausing because you're always in the best rhythm of all time when you're pa- when you have to pause a game. And I've never paused a game and won, ever. Mm. I've never come back to a game and won that game or whatever I was doing, ever. So I'm going pause. For the pause, Mook? Yeah, I'm going pause. I was the annoying kid that called the house phone and was like, can you please put Stefan on? So uh, pause video games by a mile. Other for the pause video games, KB? I love that first one. Um, the pausing. Yeah, I forgot about pausing too. That's that's what I'm going with. Another for pausing. Yeah. I'm going with the first one. Mine wasn't a phone call though. Mine was the next door neighbor kid Name that would just walk kid. into the home and have him right up to my room. Just good. Playing the Spider Man game on PS2, and he's like, oh. "Can I play?" This is one player. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it's one player. Yeah, I just remember the games like that you couldn't pause, and you're trying to frantically explain to your parents that you can't pause it, and they don't give a fuck. Like, 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 no, like, I can't pause. I'm on, I'm on level eight. I can't, can't conceptualize it, it. Yeah. Like, it and know? they just don't care. And I need to have to like walk away from the game, or like Mario says, you pause it, you can't come back. Uh, it's that. If someone loses their call, you just be like, no, I don't want to hang out with you. Right? The amount like, of I mean, times yeah. I've had to walk into the store late because you can't save during a Pokemon battle on Game Boy. You have to finish the battle. And they could not get that. They're like, we'll just turn it off. I'm like, what? Are you fucking yeah. crazy? Yeah. And so, like, well, I, I, and I just like wander through IKEA <laughs> trying to find them. Yeah. Nightmare. Where you have your battery still on and you're just like praying it doesn't die. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Kate? Uh, I feel like my parents and I had a mutual respect on the, like, I can't play right now kind of thing. Like, when they, because my dad, his code was to tell them I'm working on a project that meant he was napping and didn't want to like deal with the neighbors. 
So I would always cover for my parents when they didn't want to deal with the adults in the neighborhood with certain codes. And then they would, there'd be times the little kids always wanted to come play with me because I was like fun with little kids. And I'd be like ducking under the windows and stuff. And my parents would be like, she's not home. Mm. So I'd be like, so we always had a good, so I got to go with like pausing the, pausing the game. Yeah. Yeah. Pausing the game would be brutal. You're losing literally hours of work that. A lot of times, if especially if you can't save it or you don't have a memory card, it's not recoverable. You have a sibling you know is going to mess with it while you're gone yes. or something. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely pausing. Pausing. All right. That's going to move on. Now we have our last. Who suggested the other one? Who suggested the music? Uh, KB. Yeah. You kind of botched the delivery. But... All right. Go make your delivery. <laughs> <laughs> make <your> delivery. <laughs> nah, <laughs> uh, okay. Now we have a two, our two seed last matchup. Two seed versus our 15 seed, which is also chain. Uh, it's a chain game made entirely by one person submissions. Um, okay, uh, so we'll start it out. Uh, oh, hmm. So there's families who just get to live at the beach year round. Uh, Lind- Linda Ellerby. Uh, oh, Linda Ellerby. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Nick News. Yes, oh, I remember oh, that. The haircut. She died, right? No, still oh. alive. Mm. She had uh, cancer, but she survived. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, whiz hating blunts. Uh, <laughs> seatbelt paralysis. Why don't you just have KB deliver these, I guess? Because I know <laughs> KB's the number one LRB <laughs> hater on earth. That's fair. I mean, that's self-explanatory. Linda, uh, you were watching Nickelodeon, and then the news came on. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst. And then you would go to the beach. It was the best week of the year. It was paradise. And then you come to find out there's kids that get to live at the beach. Yeah. yeah. And that was tough. That's really good. Wiz came out. He's, he's staunchly against smoking blunts. And if you're a blunt smoker, that was tough during the Taylor Gang era. Mm-hmm. Um, Seatbelt paralysis. Marty, this happened to you not too long ago. I, haven't, it clicked a, I thought that stopped. Nope. The seatbelt just gets stuck. And you Still happens. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Ah. Where you're just going like this. It would basically jerking it off like yeah. nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you're P- P- PE teacher, okay, now we can start the game. Nine minutes later, okay, time to head to the locker room. <laughs> so you get nine minutes of total gameplay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every trendy prank is painful as hell. There was a time when pranks were just hurting each other. <laughs> yeah, it's true. BME playing Olympics era. Yeah. Enough with the humping talk. Can we just talk about actual fucking? <laughs> What is, what is that? Hey, what the fuck is that? <laughs> there was a period of time when it was all about humping. Hump, 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 hump. Let's talk about sex. Some of the liquid medicine being the equivalent of a shot of liquor without the buzz. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> can we get some snacks? Yeah, go up to the kitchen and grab whatever. Uh, all right, I know damn well that you know your mom and dad are both up there. <laughs> okay, that's the one. Those are good. Oh, the one. That was fantastic. Oh my yeah. god. Damn. So among the Che and game, <laughs> Marty, let's start with you. Those are all good. Oh, you are so stupid. I love it. <laughs> you are the best. No, the last one. Snacks. The snacks is that's mm. like I don't want to go up there with your parents. I'm not going to be rummaging around for an oatmeal cream pie or something. It's all, oh, yeah, oatmeal cream <laughs> pies. Yeah, There's a whole box of them. You wanted pies. it one so bad, <laughs> but you just couldn't bear up to like just say hi to his mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one for the, the snack. Oh, uh, can you rattle them off? I forget. Uh, <laughs> anyone stick out to you? <laughs> Linda LRB, Wiz Hating Blunt, Seatbelt Paralysis, uh, the uh, gym teacher one, uh, trendy p- pranks being painful, uh, humping. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's <laughs> liquid medicine. That's a good one. I'll, I'll go with the snack one. Uh, also, like if you go up to a kid's house where they have like shitty snacks and then you don't end up getting anything and they're like, what the aren't you hungry? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, no, I just don't want to eat celery course, sticks. Yeah. yeah. Or what about the mom that doesn't stop asking if you want something? Oh, yeah. That's also inconvenient. Because then at yeah, some point, my mom. like, my mom's just saying, you want that? You sure you don't want this? You got to be hungry. Well, it's mm-hmm. good. I'll make you a plate. No, it's yeah. a weird item too. Yes. Like, yeah. You want a meatball? It's like, no. <laughs> the mom's always offering meatball. Yes, yeah. The mom's always a meatball. <laughs> I want to heat oh. you up some old meal. Like, yeah. It's like, no, I want snacks. I want the candy in your fucking Got to get rid of these leftovers. I want a cereal bar. <laughs> I want, the, <laughs> I want to see what snacks you bar. have yeah. that I don't what at home. Fucking pop tart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's that Maybe. one. That's that one. Yeah. Are you for the snack I hated one. That. I had limited TV time, 
and when I was watching fucking Kablam and then Linda Ellerby popped on <laughs> afterwards, I was livid, dude. I hated that woman. So bad. Uh, Linda Ellerby for me. Linda Ellerby. I had to go with medicine. Uh, one time I hurt my... I, I <laughs> fell off this radiator. I, I need stitches. <laughs> and I had to have, like, codeine. <laughs> I couldn't swallow. <laughs> yeah. He was so fucking off lean. Yeah, I fell off a radiator when I was a little kid. I was trying you to read a radiator so I you guys saw you lean. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd they give you coding if you fell off a radiator? So I f- okay, I was recreating the end of the movie Annie when Annie's climbing up the uh the train tracks. <laughs> well, that makes sense. In the movie, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And but I was trying to because the radiator kind of looks like train tracks if you're a little kid and you have imagination. And I fell off, I split my like lip open, and then I needed stitches. And then they gave me pain pills, and I couldn't swallow pills. And I'm eating. The, I ate the codeine, and I'm like, uh, and I was like dissolving my mouth, and I'm freaking out. And I'm like spitting out. My father's like, you can't do that. I don't know how much you've actually taken, and then I can't give you another pill. I don't want you to have too much codeine. And I remember just crying and spitting and powder all my face. So I gotta say, medicine powder. All right, this codeine is literally powder? a third. Oh, it was pill. So- it was in pill form. Oh, okay, okay. And then it dissolved, and then I couldn't swallow because I couldn't swallow pills. Then I was freaking out. My dad's like so annoyed with me, which. Rightfully so. We just have an ad here called BetterHelp. Yeah. You can, call, you can talk to them anytime you want. His dad was just. forcing codeine down yeah. his throat. Everything <laughs> turns into him crying, basically. A lot of, a lot of tears. <laughs> uh, pretending to be Annie. Yeah. No, I wasn't Annie. I was Poonjab. That's the man who's chasing after Annie. <laughs> The character. I was not being Annie. I was chasing after Annie I'm to rescue her. Rush later. Uh, <laughs> holy shit! You're Poonja. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Clemmer's life is like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what that means. Uh, oh yeah, that's fine. Snacks. I'm going with snacks. Uh, okay. snacks. <laughs> Every other kid was playing cops and robbers. You're playing Annie, Annie. and Poonja. Yeah. Poonja was pretty cool. Well, I've never seen Annie. Stop the Bolsheviks in the first act of the movie. Oh, cool. Yeah. He was ripped. He was. Yeah, he was really. He was, he was awesome. Sometimes you got to be a little bit naughty. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Is that Oliver Annie. or Annie? Annie. What? Oh, it was from Annie. The I don't music. think it was. Yes, it is. <laughs> I believe you, I guess. What's, what's, are you sure it's, it's not song. Oliver Twist? No. They're Matilda. both British. I'm pretty sure it's Matilda. He's going. To oh, fuck. That, yeah, Matilda. I don't understand that reference. Matilda? Matilda? Was Matilda? In the movie, was, the, the was also show, sang in the, British. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jay? Hard Knocks Life. That's Annie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I fucked it up. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so as a kid, there are so many television networks that you can watch. Nickelodeon stuff. is the pinnacle of that. So I understand the snacks one, and that's great. But you have the option to just not get snacks. Or you can go get snacks and talk to the mom. With Nickelodeon and Linda Ellerbee, it shuts off. It eliminates your options, really. And you have you can't watch TV. For the next half an hour, because it's just the news and nobody wants that for kids. Um, so Linda Ellerby. I'm happy I was a Cartoon Network kid. Significantly less mentally stable, but we never had to yeah, watch Yeah, you are definitely a Cartoon Network I was, yeah, I was fucking was, watching oh, yeah. Billy and Mandy. I was like, this shit rocks. Rock. <laughs> Dude, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's me. That's uh, that's me on screen. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Who's humping? <laughs> My sp- was this arc? We were- just hump there talk was, on there the time. There was a time. I never even... about sex. You were just talking humping. humping. A lot of humping. Everyone, Carter was humping everyone. <laughs> Carter Huffman. They're all humping the air. Everything was humping, humping, humping. Like guys, like there's sex out there. We don't know much about it. We should pivot to sex to actual po- like fornication to penetration. Where did we? Keep, we how long are we gonna hump for? We're Damn near twelve, and we're still humping. We've been humping for four years. Uh, eyes are off the prize. You can yeah. see you talking to your friends at the yeah, lunch. Them up. Like, we got to stop. Come on, what guys. Are we doing? Right, stop humping. <laughs> yeah. Can't do it for this long. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the snacks is going to move on. It's going to face our number two, uh, which is we have X Y Z at home. Oh. Oh. Classic. Oh. Very Never classic did. one. Never had X Y Z. But X Y Z at home. So What's Jay. That? Uh, <laughs> it's like a filler it's letter. Like, uh, you want McDonald's? We have food at home. Yeah. Oh, burgers at home. Yeah, it's just a fill in X Y Z. Is in like, could be anything. Got it. Yeah. Uh, Che X Y Z. Just because the drop off, no matter what it is, is steep. <laughs> tremendous. Yeah. Uh, and you're never happy just because it's what you're used to, and you can't have this shiny new thing. Uh, so X Y Z. X Y Z. Kate. So I hear myself doing it to Pat now, and I'll be like, we have coffee at home. We have ice cream. Like, I hear it, and as it's coming out of my mouth, I'm like, oh, you're the worst, but I can't. I know it's bad. Yeah, X, Y, Z at home. X, Y, Z at home. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, the other rejection this made me think of too is like anything in December at all that you want, your parents are like, it's almost Christmas. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, you can't have I'm like, it's like a. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, he's 100 One dollar magazine. I'm like, no, it's almost Christmas. Oh, yeah. Did you get that for me? Then. F- what the fuck? Yeah. Right. So, I, yeah, like, and also, like, yeah, we have that at home. It's like, well, yeah, the thing at home sucks. Obviously, I want the good new thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. that one. That rejection sucks. And you're so helpless. Yeah. <laughs> Nick? Driving past McDonald's and, like, if you hit a red light right where you could turn in, you <sighs> sit there. If it's like when they were giving out the inspector gadget toys, oh, yeah. you just needed the fucking hat that was had a propeller on top. The Beanie Baby McDonald's era made oh. me feral in the car. I, <laughs> I needed that shit. Yeah, it was big time tantrum. Yeah, I was like the kid in the backseat in the Baba Duke. Yeah. Um, <laughs> good reference, Bad. Nikki. Uh, yeah, that was yeah, smart. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would go with that. X, Y, Z at home. Ours is we had like a big pizza place to turn off on the main road. Mm-hmm. And she'd be like, no, we got 10 for 10 Celeste frozen pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's brutal. Worst. Uh, KB. It's that, but it's insane how much we would rather have had a, do- a fast food dollar meal or sandwich than like a three course delicious home cooked meal. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> like, and by a huge margin yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, and Kabuk? Yeah. Uh, the X, Y, Z at home. Like coming, like, have, spending a day at like the pool or something you're exhausted you're hungry as fuck and your mom's like oh we have lunch meat at home it's mm-hmm. like I'd rather oh lo- it was oh, always lunch fucking meat. lunch yeah. cold cuts oh mm-hmm. yeah make a sandwich like- side of plain potato chips yep <laughs> ate it out on the deck PB and J yuck uh, okay so now we're gonna go back through and do our playoff uh, very first one is uh, the number oh my god I forgot about this the mom jump bumping into the friend Oh, they're in the soon I forget. Yeah, versus getting a shitty lunch period. So start with you, Mush. That's tough. That is bad. I'm going with the lunch period. The lunch period really, because I had one, and it really makes you feel like a loser. Yeah, it really does. Because then usually your other classes aren't that good either. Mm-hmm. For some reason, and it also like the lunches. If the lunch is early, like the first lunch period you could have, that's where it's like you know, you're fucking starving by the rest of the day. If you like have practice later or something, you're fucked. Some school lunches are like ten fifteen in the morning. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, crazy yeah. early. Fourth yeah. period. You had fourth period lunch. You yeah. were yeah. There's like yeah. serving like sloppy joes at ten a.m. Yeah, it's, I don't want that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stuff. All right, Mook. I'm going lunch period. You can get stuck with a group of kids that you lose every argument to and <laughs> a normal conversation with. So that is more detrimental. It was pissed me off that there's a fight that wasn't in my lunch period. Which never had a fight yeah, in my lunch period. A kid in my grade got suplexed. And everyone was talking about it for oh, like a year. The highlight of the year. Yeah, nothing we'll talk better about those than forever. They said the, it because, seeing a fight was the best. He yep. said he suplexed him because he tagged his car, but he actually wasn't the one who tagged his car. So he suplexed an innocent civilian, and it was the coolest thing ever, and I never got to see it. Lou Jocks was the guy who suplexed him. Uh, What's his name? Awesome. Lou Jocks. Oh, okay. He was Good destined name. to suplex a guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lou jo- and he literally spelled J-O-C-K-S, I'm pretty sure, too. Missing a fight in school was, like, terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everyone was talking about it every period, and then you're, like, on the outside, and, and you're the kid that saw it. You're the guy. Oh, yeah. Everyone goes to you for the details. Yep. Yeah. Eddie was- Murphy got sell- caught <laughs> caught selling oregano as weed. <laughs> oregano. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a weed term. Oregano. No, he oregano. couldn't say his R's. Oregano. He couldn't say his R's, and he got caught. And I was the person that saw him get like actually yep. caught, and it was the best day of my life. Eddie Murphy <laughs> sold me bunk weed. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a skit. <laughs> I, th- I saw a girl beat up a guy in high school. Oh, it was awesome. Oh, damn. Yeah, oh, no. Dark. She was a tank. Yeah, <laughs> softball player. Dude, oh, yeah. Always was. Gotcha. Cookie Monster yeah. pajama yeah. pants girls could or field was one of those. up in the school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, if you. Oh, I would rather see a actual like skinhead biker than a girl in Tweety Bird pajamas. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. With like red hair. Oh, like, the really dark red streak. Oh, hair. the streaky, chunky yeah, highlights. Yeah. 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 Yep. You're a dead man. Real thin <laughs> eyebrows. Dead man walking. Yeah. Oh, you're <laughs> fucked. The Tweety Bird was she's terrible. Got, she's got negative ass. It's like <laughs> slanted inwards. She, no, like, you don't want to fuck with her. Yeah. Oof. She has like oh, eight yeah. kids. Yep. Tasmanian <laughs> devil kids. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. The seating arrangement was everything. Yep. So it, I got to go with that. Seating arrangement, Nick. At least I was older then. Um, mom talking to somebody in the grocery store was an eternity. And there was nothing yeah, you could do other pick. than stand. Mm-hmm. Grin and Barrett. It's a brutal matchup. 
Yeah. This is yep. a tough one. Yeah, I'm going to go with mom's the grocery store. The grocery Same. store. Mom's grocery store. Oh, we're tied up. Jay. Mom's grocery store feels like an eternity, but the lunch period yeah. is it's like a semester, a marking period, where whenever, however often you redo classes. So I got to go with that just because it is such a long period of time. How long was Was it a half a year? I always forget when you change classes in high school. or it was marking period? I don't even know. We may have had Half quarters. Year. We had quarters. We, we had we had quarters. Can't yeah. remember well, they, now. They Classes too. would change a half the year. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If that makes sense. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. So the loser of this is the bumping into the friend. That was next. Damn shame. God damn it. Uh, next Ooh. up, we have the number. Uh, it was a six. It was the one seed that won. Having to rely on your parents for everything versus the number eight seed parents that care. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a sort of related, I guess. Uh, Marty. I'm going to go with parents that care because parents say you have to worry. Like sometimes they could act as your Uber, which could be nice. But then also, I don't know. I think care. I think they're the same thing. Yeah, they're very related. I'll go care. Care. I think parents that care because when you get older, it gets like worse. When when drinking starts to get involved or like you're starting to yeah. do hood rat shit with your hood rat friends. Right. Like, going to the park, smoking a black and mild. It's like I want the parent. I want the shitty parents. Dude, I love black and mild wine oh, with tips. Wine yes. with tips. Bro, yeah, yeah, they were the hot you were so commodity. Sick. Sick. Dodge uh, they were so store. cool. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Windows was, down. I, and then I had an uh. extra wood tip that I put in my Toronto Blue Jays flat brim that was like going <laughs> Toronto Blue Jay hat was the coolest thing. Cool if you were so flat brim was everything too. Do you have the light blue one? I had the light blue in the back, white panel in yep. the front. Yeah. yeah, that was that was the one. We had, a, we had our uh, soccer practices like off in a different school because we didn't have soccer field at our school. Uh, <laughs> Easiest <laughs> field to have. I, I trust me, I know. But this kid, this uh, senior, picked us up when we were for, uh, sophomores to bring us there, and his, he pulls up in his black Escalade. He's blasting fifty cent, and his fucking car just reeks of black and milds. Mm-hmm. It's like the coolest moment ever. Same as Steve <laughs> Perry. Not, well, not related. Wow. Uh, the lead singer of Journey. Yeah, not related at all. No. Very mean guy for the most part. Choked a kid up, uh, one of our one of my friends up uh, like on the wall off his feet. <laughs> oh, that's Very cool. Sick. That's cool as hell. That's sick. KB. Uh, parents that care. Parents that care. Yeah, it's going to be parents that care. Mm-hmm. So all my other friends had parents that didn't give a fuck about them. They're they're in big trouble now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, back they really are. Yeah. Yeah. All those kids live. are in big yeah, trouble. Yeah, they live. Yeah, they're in- <laughs> What was the other option? Uh, having to rely on your parents for... Yeah, so the parents that cared, that, that was the helicopter that the parent came after me. Mm. So I got to go with that one. All right. Yeah, parents that care. God, when I was younger, they did not care. Like, it was like free reign. As I got older, it became very anxiety-inducing. Sneaking around, it was a lot of sneaking around. Yeah. Which made me look bad. But this was like a post '90s trope to care about, like over. Like, yeah, I mean, like you didn't have to worry about your kid getting molested, basically. Yeah, they would usually uh. just. It was a nickname for kids in the '80s and '90s, like latchkey kids. We'd come home to like a key because our parents were working. We let ourselves in. We were very independent back like in the '80s. Dinner and then like just free reign of your name. Yeah, we got to, yeah. like there were no. I mean, people had curfews, but like they were much later. And then like my sister's eight years younger than me, and like her. Like she talked about what her friends like. They weren't allowed to do anything. It was very strange. Yeah, there was no phones and shit, right? So like no phones. Yeah, you had to rely on the payphone. Can't care that much because if you're not there, you you can't know where the fuck you are. Yeah, the, like uh, you know, you think about the phones. rule was you had to come home when the streetlights came on. So we just all right, no streetlights are on, just go home. Like parents weren't. They never knew what we were doing. I'd leave on a summer day. I'd leave my house at ten thirty. I'd come home at eight p.m. My parents had no idea what I did all day. And that's how everyone hours. was. What's that? Play stickball for hours. Play wiffle ball. Yeah. Home run derby. Yeah. Like, or we go to the lake. Did you eat? Oh, yeah. We go to the store and get like a pizza and split it among us. Yeah. The parents usually give us like 20 bucks. Here you go. Have, have a good day. Bucks. Mm-hmm. We just go have fun. 20 bucks. Back in that. That would last you. That would last you a couple days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, so you're going to go with. Uh, I mean, this is care. like tomato, tomato. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. So whichever one's in the lead, honestly. Parents that care. Uh, okay. So parents that care. And by the way, the loser of this was Kate's. Yeah. Having to rely on your parents. Yeah. Uh, so parents that care versus uh, getting a bad lunch period. Jay. Lunch period. Lunch period. Parents that care. Parents that care. Uh, I guess uh, lunch period. Lunch period. I'm going to go lunch period here. A lot of for lunch period. Three to one. Yeah. Lunch period. Lunch period is going to win. But Mook. Go parents that care. Parents that care. Lunch period. Lunch period. Parents that care was Mook's. Hmm. Sucks for you. Sorry, Mook. So the, I got a winner in there already. Don't worry about it. Lunch period 
is going to be moving to the finals on the other side. Uh, we have having to go to church or CCD, any of those things, versus having red hair. <laughs> Marty. This is heavyweight matchup. <laughs> Super Bowl. Because I'm not going to lie. I've, I've at once in my life said, thank God I don't have red hair. You know, it's, everyone said that once. Right? At least once. <laughs> yeah. Minimum. Um, I'm going, I'm going no religion, like religion class, because honestly, no one cared about what was actually happening. Like, it, it just always, I was never in a good mood after, like, learn. And when you learned about it, it wasn't like, oh, my God, that was cool. Never. So I'm going, I'm going religion class. Religion class, Mook? You know where I stand. <laughs> For red hair, KB. Yeah, the Catholic Church put did nothing to make it even semi digestible for kids. Yes, it, no. it, was, it wasn't our fault. We're not going to pay attention to the, the scripture and or like understand the metaphors. It's that another for church two to one. Oh man, it's a tough one. It's a tough one because like, oh man, god damn, this is really hard. I'm going to go church here. Um, I'm going to go church here. I mean, it was so, so boring. Um, but at least, you know, I didn't have red hair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the worst part of church was it was the weekend. Like, that was my time. I was like, all right, I work at school all, you know, all week. And there's the two days that are like mine. And then Sunday morning, nope, you got to get up early and go to fucking church. Church. It was a bad, yeah, it was a bad day, too. The fact that you had seven different religion yeah. classes. Yeah. Is Every wild. year, yeah. be different yeah. one. Yeah. This yeah. is wild, but s- yeah. Sunday was always a bad day. Any of you guys go to the 1130 service? Yeah. It was the worst. Well, everyone because you're not to- allowed to eat before communion. Mm-hmm. Is that a, that's the rule, right? Is it? Yeah. I was just uh, fucking starving. Oh, we, yeah, we went to 930. I was starving afterwards. The only thing that you thought was going to be cool about shirts was the wine. Like you thought it was going to get you fucked up when you were younger. And then you're just like, this is the worst thing Taste in the world. Like, some and it churches had the individual yeah. cups. I wasn't sharing the chalice. Oh, the chalice. yeah. No, yeah. We had to share the chalice. The chalice. And it's yeah. gross. Sure. And they, oh, they do a little wipe. Like One's a wipe. Yeah. Quick yeah. wipe. Yeah. The quickest wipe you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just sucking that up. <laughs> One little wipe. After yeah. it's done, you do see the yeah. fucking priest right. go like this. Oh, he downs the rest. Downs oh, he because yeah. he's a sicko. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, the parents who made us do church too, like they were miserable on Sundays, getting yeah. us all ready to oh, yeah. go. Want to do it? Coming yeah. back, like was the Eagles game coming on? And we're, like hurry, like they were miserable on Sundays too. Like it made everyone miserable. I have to go church. You couldn't wear sweatpants or like something just yeah, like shit. You always had to wear something kind of presentable. Uncomfortable. I dressed oh, oh, in church. After yeah. church, the conversations with the friends were just oh, as bad as the grocery oh, store. Trying to get to the oh, car. Probably worse. Yeah. 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 They put out like snacks though after and coffee because that was we didn't. mine too. Was, yeah, we didn't do that. That was worse because then the conversation would stay. Yeah. And the priest would talk. Uh, God. Mine yeah. was a talker. I'll talk <laughs> they to all the priest are. afterwards. Yeah. He'd stand at the door. It's like congratulated. No, he basically yeah, yeah, he's like expecting to get like dap him up. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Oh, you have to shake his hand. Yeah, to leave. yeah man. All he's doing is plagiarizing. He's just reading. Yeah, you're reading. <laughs> you know, has really good posts is Mark Wahlberg. You ever see his Sunday posts? No. He has like these these deeply religious posts. But every every Sunday he goes get stay prayed up. Is this thing? Oh, it's his new brand. Yeah, he's like selling a that. ton of up. stuff. Staying prayed up. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it'll be a video of him leaving church, and he's like. Just got my new municipal sweatshirt on. For that's like his other brand he's doing, and he's yeah. like, "Just remember, stay prayed up." And it's he has like a, a marble shrine to Mary you, in his living room. Did you see that? Like, that was crazy. Yeah, he's like got crazy shit. He has this pr- a little private cross and like glass shrine thing in his house to do at home prayers. I guess prayed up, staying prayed up all the time. Yep. Uh, okay, so the church is moving on. Now we have the we have X Y Z at home versus uh, having to pause your game for anything. Che. X Y Z at home. XYZ at home, Kate. I think I've said this before. My mom even negated that by asking us, do you kids want ice cream? Like, we're coming up on the Dairy Queen. Do you kids want ice cream? And then at the light, she'd be like, psych. Oh, like, oh, she, had, oh, yeah. Yeah, she had like a really dark sense of humor to her. That Her other thing was, who wants to go bowling? And me and my brother would be like, yeah. And she'd be like, well, we're not going at oh, ice. child of oh, God. <laughs> that is pretty yeah. funny. <laughs> but like to her, that was like very funny. If I was the parent, I would think that's very funny too. Especially because like we fell for it every time because the hope is there no matter how old you 
get. You're like hoping a little bit. And so it, for her, it never got old. But she, so like, she didn't even have to say we have XYZ at home because she'd like just fuck with us beforehand. XYZ at home. Is, XYZ yeah. at home. Clever. Yeah. And what's the other one? Uh, having to pause your game. That one. Pausing the game. That was the worst. Pausing the game. This one's really tough. Um, I'm going to go pause the game, especially if it was like, Something you didn't know was going to happen, like you're playing the game and then all of a sudden company. Mm -hmm. I have a quick caveat to that too. Like in the internet era, my parents used to be able, we had one, the computer room and they could turn the internet off with a light switch. And that was the new version of pausing the game was like, we're going to turn off the internet if you like, so you go do your (laughs) shit. Otherwise, pause your game or we're turning off the internet. That sucked. That's brutal. My mom would just pick up the phone. Oh yeah, and that messed it up. Too. Like, oh, yeah. Now you're off. Now you're so. Old. My mom went to the fuse box once just yeah. to make it extra special. <laughs> yeah, which is a rough one. I used to be on the internet, and then my parents would get a phone call. Yeah, and it's like, well, up gotta that. get off. Yeah, yeah it doesn't work sucked. anymore. You're fucked. Uh, KB. Um. So was he at home versus pausing the game? Pausing the game. Pausing the game. We didn't. Have, we didn't even have X Y Z. <laughs> you didn't have XYZ at home? Yeah. What'd you have? Oh, XYZ is at the Taylor's house next door. <laughs> They're both like mental warfare with your parents. Yeah. yeah. Them just trying to like dominate you. Yep. Um, but I think pause the game. I think that lasts longer too. Like I remember being home in college and like playing Fortnite and my mom was like, get your ass down here right now. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, well, I'm about a it's an online game. Mm-hmm. Battle Royale. Like, what do you want me? To- <laughs> you can't <laughs> pause the yeah. towers. What do you want me to do? Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Just dropped in four deep. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pause the game. <laughs> Fucking tilted towers. I'll never forget that. I don't know. That game broke my brain. It's the best uh, game. Marty? Pause. Pause in the game. It's even like when I got older too, like when someone knocked on the door when your parents were at home. Terrifying. I never yes. got that door. Yeah. I, no. I would pause. I had to force pause and then hide under yeah, the door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you would hide I even would though hide every there was no purpose of hiding, but you would still hide. Yeah. There was no way I was seeing if that person saw me and they would stay. And sometimes they'd stand there for like 10 minutes and you're just sitting there with your brother <laughs> yeah. like this. Fuck, yeah. is he ever going to leave? <laughs> yeah. All right. So pausing the game versus having to go to church, CCD, any of that stuff? Church. Church still. Still church. I, that really puts it. There's no good. That me off thinking. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. like, I feel like I have to go on Sunday now and I don't want to go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pausing the game. Pausing the game. Sure. God. Oh, my. You can't say church. Your, your mom won't fuck with that. Yeah. No. You're afraid. <laughs> yeah. Because he knows the last time. Wait, didn't you go to church like a couple weeks so ago? He didn't go to church. Oh, you got in trouble. You missed church. Oh. He wants to say church. Mom, say mom, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I can't say church. So. <laughs> it's church. Church. Nick? Hold on. Mook text us. <laughs> Mooks just said, fuck God. Oh, no. <laughs> Why would you say that? What the? I'm going to thumbs down. Oh. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Nobody make a graphic with a quote for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, huge. What you got to do. Um, ooh, this one's tough, especially with on- when online games were prominent and like. You just had to go AFK and you'd like try to find a hiding spot. Yeah. Never worked. You were dead. <laughs> Fuck yeah, him. She's like, this will work. I'll be back. That's true. Like uh, Call of Duty or something. Yeah, you just got to crouch behind something. There's no way they'll find Eating me. You're just bush. completely dead. Yeah. You've died four times already. Yeah. <laughs> You're always dead. Um, Letting the boys down. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a benefit of church. Like uh, going. That's the thing. <laughs> like, it's <go>. not... <laughs> they would say heaven. Heaven, I guess. First hand job. I, you what? No, oh. you didn't. At church, camp. I was an altar server, oh, so I had man. to go every. Why are you bragging about a hand job? You just had to give it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> like yeah, what it. the hell? Yeah, I don't like she got it. <laughs> oh, I bet it felt so good. <laughs> <laughs> It was a badge of honor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But in the church, behind? you know, that shit was echoing. It was like, yeah, <laughs> good God. It gets so much uh, noise. I'm going, did the priest appreciate it? <laughs> no. Oh. no, he didn't. No. I'm going church. I, uh-huh. I didn't absorb a single fucking thing. Mm-hmm. I will say what you just said, though, with the... Uh, Letting the boys down, explaining why you're pausing with your friends. Is Devastating also to let yeah. the boys yeah. down. You get made fun of. And then you're the target. Yeah. 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 Automatic. It was worse when it was like Fortnite, though, because once you die, you're just dead. 
Like in Call of Duty, at least you'd respawn or whatever. But like in Fortnite and all those other battle royale games, it's really fucked. Yeah. Um. Okay. All uh, right. Church. 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 I had some benefits to church. Uh, one, I'd be rocked up almost the entire church ceremony. <laughs> it's not a <laughs> ceremony. That's a benefit. Ever, everyone's Wait, like so you were the what? Mean, like you had a a boner. Yeah, <laughs> almost the whole church. Why is that a benefit? Why, why are you so hard? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be awesome. You see all the like hot moms <laughs> dressed in their legit was, oh, Sunday. Oh, I love this. What? Yeah, dressed in. Oh, this Sunday is the best. best. I'm hard in church. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, it was so. You're saying it was a spank bank. Yes, it was like uh, you couldn't. Okay, you just had to sit stand there for a long hour, hard as fuck. Oh, you'd be that sitting, sucks. Yeah. Sitting and kneeling. Sitting Being kneeling hard kneeling is worse than staring. Is, is, is awful. <laughs> no, nah, I mean it's. It's it's a payoff later. Would you rather be hard or soft? Sounds like in church. <laughs> Nobody knows. Yes. Yeah. Right now. Sure. <laughs> right now, soft, but like as a teenager, like <laughs> you have so little inventory for that. You know, with dial up internet. Uh. So yeah. Uh. I would have, as a teen, rather been rocked up, which I was. Right in the windows makes a lot more sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then also. So church was very popular in my town amongst teens. So I did with almost everyone that was like in my grade did like peer ministry. Um, so you would like help teach CCD to others. I just did it because everyone else did it. I had no personal interest to it. But there was uh, you got paired up with someone. I believe a junior year. So you could do a junior and senior year. You got paired up with someone for two years. And I got paired up with the hottest girl in the grade. It was Justine McGowan. It's like one of the best moments of my life. All my buddies were high fiving me after it happened. It was awesome. <laughs> um, Wait, just that high fiving you after you got paired up with her? <laughs> yes. Did you see me? Yes. Because I'd be with her on for two years. That's pretty good. Nick. That's, 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 that's yeah, a that is a that's good thing. Good. That is a good thing. You're that eight, like that. Yes. Did you ever f- get your flirt on? Uh, a little bit. Did you hump? No. I mean, you humped. Oh. Uh, um, but it was awesome at the time. Uh, so church wasn't that bad. So, so what was it going our, against? Uh, church is going up against red the game. Pausing the game. Oh, pausing the game. Oh. <laughs> oh, church is gonna move like on. Church. Yeah, you loved church. Did you guys for your sponsor for your eight for confirmation? Did your parents pick it for you, or did you guys actually pick? I don't even remember who mine was. Yeah, it was my brother. It was a whole drama thing because one per one aunt hasn't been picked yet by anybody. Ah. Uh. And he had to pick her. They got divorced the next year. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a tough. It t- still hurts my brother. You know. What was your uh, confirmation name? Uh, Joe. That's boring. <laughs> Matthew John Joseph Kale. <laughs> I got I got Maximilian. That's good. And my daughter, younger great. brother, picked Titus. Uh, it's he also great. So fucking. And he's cool. hot. The other one I had another role. Who was uh, Justine McNally? Justine McGowan. Mc what? McGowan. McGowan. C G O W E N. A-N. How do you have her Instagram up? <laughs> Pulling her up right now. I saw in, someone on our YouTube once commented something along the lines of like, Che is more mysteriously bricked up than the pyramids. Like, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's that's kind of fair. Yeah. Wasn't it every period in school too? Every period of school. Like once a period for a couple minutes. What? It wasn't the entire period. Every single period? Every period. Every period. period. Not, not like gym or usually not lunch you just get home and like explode every oh, i would jerk life. off like three plus times today you ever jerk off at church no mm. you ever get a hand job at church no it was behind the church oh it was behind the church <laughs> yeah now it's even less cool yeah yeah no, it's life, life teen church camp north carolina jesus what uh you did you travel? Did you live in North Carolina? It was one of those things where you went to fix up a town. Oh, okay. learned about Christ that week. Oh my God, it <laughs> was like the only time I had free. So you guys were painting the walls. I had parents and carrots. So it was the only time I had free. <laughs> yeah, painting the mm-hmm. walls. Yeah. So no, I didn't know what to do. I squeezed it. Pausing the game. <sighs> oh, that. <laughs> She's mashing it. <laughs> it's, it's always yeah. funny. Uh, so pausing the game is going to lose. That was Nick's. Uh, now we have in our finals. Having to go to church versus having a shitty lunch period. Last matchup of the day, Che. Shitty lunch period. Church. Church. Shitty lunch period, church, church. This is, oh, this is this really is hard. Church is once a week and it's an hour. It's for 18 years or whatever. It's for a long time. 15, for my sake. Basically, your entire childhood. <laughs> but at least you suffered with others. Hmm. Like Jesus. <laughs> you don't mean that. 
the lunch period, you were alone. I'm not going to sit next to the girl with rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> she sucks. I'm, I'm not going to go lunch period. Lunch period, two to two. Yeah, lunch period. I'm still Catholic. <laughs> lunch period. Fuck, dude. I got bullied at both. <laughs> <laughs> the priest was making fun of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, no, but I have yeah, to. You had to play the leper in the... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going uh, lunch period. Lunch period. Church. Church. It's going to be, oh, it was a close one. It was four to three in favor of the lunch period. Church, wow. that was Kate's. So you just lost out by a second. Oh, no. I feel like every bracket I've ever been on, I find a way to bring in church as the bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> so having a shitty seating Man. arrangement, which was mine. I get the church. Oh, 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 yeah. Gross is that? Ew. Gross uh, is that? I read and think. I was like, "Oh, that's a pretty good one. It's not going to win. That's yeah. my only submission." It is um, bad. It's bad. It's, it's it does very suck. inconvenient. Feels good. I'll see. Okay. I don't. I don't feel like good having it. So I'll seed it to Kate. I've no, 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 no. You just, gotta take it. You gotta you get take to hold it. on. So you get to pick the category for next week. Oh wow, lucky me. Yeah, <laughs> which is something I've done for all other yep. episodes. He made this just so he doesn't have yeah. to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Thank you to Kate Mook and Mush uh, for joining in. We'll be back next week with a new topic. Oh, and Climber too, I guess. You're here. Thanks. You're always here. I feel like I don't even count you as a guest. Anymore. I don't know what I am. <laughs> uh, so we'll be back next week with a new topic. See you then.